Two drug busts in less than 24 hours. That may sound like a lot for Allen County, but officers say these raids are more common than you think. News Channel 15's Sarah Wagner is live in our newsroom with what's being done to fight the drug war in our area. Sarah? There are two different shifts of FWPD detectives who focus solely on finding meth labs and closing drug houses. Department leaders tell us it's a constant battle they don't see ending anytime soon. Last night, police arrested two people at this Goshen Road Hotel on meth-related charges. This house on McKinney Avenue, the site of two more arrests, this time related to heroin. Two overdoses, one fatal, happened here earlier this year. Windows and the door still boarded up, but hardly covering the problem found inside. We try to do a, a raid a week, if not more than that, uh, but we get tips every day. In just three months, FWPD and ISP have processed 19 meth labs. We're not even through March yet, and that tells me that we're going to have a very busy year as far as meth labs go. Fifteen years ago, Allen County had zero meth labs. It's a number that's continued to rise with 37 five years ago and 59 just last year. Since 2012, Allen County has consistently ranked as one of the top 10 counties in the state for meth labs. Captain Kevin Hunter says those high numbers are also thanks to dedicated detectives. They are going out and really focusing on meth and meth labs and trying to catch the people in the act versus going up and cleaning up a trash lab. With nearly 27 years on the force, Hunter says the addictions in the area are the worst he's ever seen. Drug houses are all over the place. Uh, it's all over Allen County, uh, all over the city, north, south, east, and west. Uh, these drug houses touch every walk of life. Hunter says heroin is still the number one problem and priority of his division. Coming up at 6, we'll tell you what laws he says need to be passed to help bring meth labs down. Live in the newsroom, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.